So landlords have a general obligation under the Control of Substances Hazardous to Health Regulations, which is more commonly known as COSH to most people, um, and deals with a whole load of stuff to, to control things that are hazardous to health, which happens to include Legionella bacteria. In the past, there's been an exemption for, for smaller water installations. That exemption has gone away. All that really means is that landlords are required to do a risk assessment of their water installation to ensure that there is, there is no major growth risk for Legionella bacteria. Now, a lot of people got very overexcited about this, but, but the reality is for most landlords, the risk of Legionella growth is tiny. Uh, I, you only need to look at the number of Legionella instances in the UK. They, 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 they have occurred in the UK, but all the, the serious cases involve huge water installations in hospitals and other places like that. They don't, they don't normally involve uh, individual homes. Um, if a landlord's got a modern installation with a fully functional boiler and no tanks, so they're using a combi boiler, then the Legionella risk is, is practically zero because there's nowhere where warm water can pool and become stagnant which is the risk. Where landlords have uh, hot water tanks, particularly those hot water tanks are older or poorly lagged, there is a considerable risk and those are ones that need to be looked at more carefully. If landlords have bits of piping where water could pool, so what are called dead legs, so a bit of pipe that used to go somewhere but no longer does, then that's an issue. The health and safety executives also recommend that landlords put provision in their tenancy agreements, um, encouraging tenants to flush through shower heads and make sure shower heads are kept clean, shower heads have been a problem, and also to flush through water systems uh, when they've been out the property for a while. Um, provided landlords are doing that, then the risk levels are pretty low. And while some landlords might want to pay for professional assessment, um, it probably isn't required for the majority of, the, of, of, of UK landlords. Mm -hmm.